I propose a challenge to the 2K community to go a day or even a week or even a month, but just for the rest of 2K's life. Don't hop off no court, chase games, go after games. When you see you ain't getting no game in the last five minutes, go look on the map, see who got a game ready, who got two people needed, three people needed, get your squad, y'all roll over there. Don't stay on that court and wait for them to come to your street. Forget streaks. Can we forget about streaks? 2K has never rewarded streaks. You somewhat get rewarded with the fact that you get flames around your your, your court now, this and that. But streaks are not, they're, they're dead now. We don't do streaks. The most streaks you'll see would be like a 5 to a 9. And then after that, you never see them again for a couple of days, this and that. And depending on who you are, you might just streak up like that. I don't know. I'm not that good at the game. But I know the majority of the people that are on this game are not streaking up every day. Because you're going to lose random games. You're going to lose games where you ain't have nothing. You can't control none of that in that game. It was like 2K was giving the other team everything. It is what it is. But let's take away some things that we have done in the past and move forward and try to play this game differently. I, I challenge every single person who clicked on this video to do so. If you are doing so, appreciate it, my brother. But other than that, I ain't really got much to tell you. I cap. I got some more I want to say. Um, what about the parts where y'all go and look at who's on the court, who's on the already on the court, or who's on got next? Look at a player card, and then either decide if you want to hop on that court and play them, or you run away because you like, nah, I don't want to play against them. Oh, they win percentage too high. All oh, that build, man. I don't like playing against that build. You're already creating an environment of you don't want to do this. Negative. Negative things that you're saying you don't want to do. You're doing this and that. You're trying to avoid so many different problems, but you're just creating more problems by not dealing with those problems. Because if you never just deal with playing with people, playing against anybody on this game, you're automatically gonna get better. You get better at this game, you get more consistent games, you win a lot more when you're playing more because you learn how to play against more people. The more you play, the more you'll run into people who play completely different than you, completely different than everybody else. Some people just all play the same. It's, it, it'll be a stretch where you're playing people that play exactly the same. And then it'll be a stretch where you never see those people on the game. You just have to play it enough and you just just don't be caring where you hop on the court at. Just just run to a got next spot. I don't see the like get consistent games. I'm saying that because if you just go to where the got next spot is, where it's already people at the court, like they're already waiting. Join that court. It's three people they need. Join that court. If you on solo, I got another video for that. Go look at that if you want to see that. But if you solo you see it's one needed. Go hop on it. If it's two, if you want, if you playing twos, two needed, one needed, whatever. Go hop on the court. I would say only when you want to make your own game, do it when there's no game about to end. And if there's no game about to end, you hop on an empty court and hope that before any game ends, you can pick up a game because people might just see you and just hop on because of the rule I just said because a lot of people do it but a lot of people don't so you always have those times where it's a lot more people that don't do it they don't just hop on court so they have to look at the person on the court first and see if I want to play them or not if I enjoy my time playing the game but you're not going to enjoy yourself playing that way because you're going to be searching forever for the right game to play you'll never get to play the game you're just wasting time like what are you doing you're not going to get better at the game if that's your goal. If your goal is just to have fun, you're not going to have fun because you're never going to play the game. Like, it's a lose-lose either way you go. Just hop on the court, man. Enjoy. Life is about taking on those challenges. Having fun. Moving forward because you're going to get it better from those losers. Like, you might hop on the court and the people are really sweaty. Like, they play the game all the time. But I promise you, you're not going to see those people all the time. So enjoy those times when you see them. Because you're going to see some stuff like, yeah, I ain't there yet. So that means I really ain't that good yet. 
Because there's people that's way better than me at the game. And I'll be seeing them every once in a while. They'll drop my ass off. I mean, drop me off. And I don't really get dropped off like that because I actually am good at the game. I would say to myself, I don't care what you think. Um, <laughs> but I just want to see more people play the game and just get active on the court. Because it's mad people that play 2K, man. It's mad people that still watch it. That's why I want to just go ahead and put something out here that might be tracked and on. Like, if you're hearing this, appreciate it, my brother, because you're just one of many people I want to reach. I want y'all to enjoy this game because this game is actually fun. It's a, I have a video. I don't know if it came out or if it's coming out where I talk about how it's a reliever for a lot of people. And that's what 2K is, man. It's a reliever for a lot of people based on the life situation they have. Some people, they just own their to actually just have fun. They look for more fun in their life.